Welcome to Backspace. Um, today we'll be talking about blackface. Blackface. Yes. So like a basic definition. Is that a little oh. bit? Basically, um, the black blackface started with the blackface minstrel, which was um, in America. Um, blackface American performance, which originated in the 1830s. Um, the blackface minstrel show obscured the master-slave relationship um, by suggesting slavery and exploiting what they went through through um, amusing and entertaining aspects for audiences. Um, so they applied their blackface persona with by first applying um, burnt cork ashes onto their face which was also symbolizing a violent act and then they exaggerated their mouth they exaggerated their mouth with red lipstick and then they also put on white gloves kind of like Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. um, the conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, so basically, and also these characters would also be like shown in like, well, they would also have like cartoons where they like act out this black, where it's mm. these like black characters or black face. And it's like exaggerated features yeah, like, like that. With big lips, yeah, big red big lips, and lips, lips and the eyes. Very dark, with mm. white eyes. And they're very, they're very clownish and yeah. cartoon and like, like, so there, is the term called monkey? Yeah. I, I would say so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like monkeying around kind of thing they were doing. They were always helpers to the farmers. Yeah. Fields, always singing as well. Mm -hmm. Joking around. Mm -hmm. Goofing. Yeah, but um, this whole idea of blackface is all about like representation of the other. So by basically how then white people would represent black people. So they would like perpetuate these stereotypes about black people, these ideas that they have about black people. Like that black people like fried chicken, mm -hmm. black people, people like good athletes, mm -hmm. they like watermelon, yeah. yes, what else? Anyways, <laughs> in Amsterdam, they have a couch, they have uh, the celebration on the 5th of December. Wait, what is it? It's, it's like, it's like, not Santa Claus. How do I say Santa Claus? Santa Claus. Santa, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Sa Santa Claus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Santa Claus and it's Swar Swarte Piet. Swar basically Black Piet. So it's these two, like Santa Claus brings presents for the children and he puts the presents in their shoes. And if the kids have been bad, Swartz Pete, Black Pete, steals the children and he takes them back, takes you back to Spain in his little bag, if you're a bad child. And so basically, and then there was a problem that in the country or in the place or whatever, that the, ch the black children will feel like they are a bad they're the wrong color, oh, and they yeah. often go and cry to their parents and be like, I'm black, I don't want to be black, whatever. So, blackface is still, still exists. Mm. I feel like it still exists, but it's not as obvious yeah. as like the minstrel shows back in the day. Yeah. It's like you have to know the backstory of blackface to know certain aspects that can be applied to everyday. So the reading we will be analyzing is called Stuart Hall, is by Stuart Hall and it's a chapter called The Spectacle of the Other. It's like perpetuating stereotypes yeah. um, throughout like media and that's what this reading is about, The Spectacle of the Other, which is a chapter in Stuart Hall's book. But it's basically about um, representation of the other throughout media. Mm -hmm. With the blackface minstrel, um, there was a power of the spectator um, where every narration places the spectator in position of agency um, and race, class and sexual relations influence the way in which the subjecthood is filled by the spectator. And then also, by watching these menstrual shows, there was the pleasure of looking. The act of looking to another as an, ob as an object, the narcissism and the development of the ego of the audience and then objectification, which is basically saying that the person that's performing is in seen or treated as an object. Bell hooks, by the way. Uh -huh. Bell hooks, opposite gaze, black female spectatorship. Heroes and villains was also quite interesting. 
because that's how that's like looking at how the media represents the other and in this section of the chapter they spoke about how this black athlete was both the hero and the villain the yeah. hero because oh, he yes. won the award but then the villain because he was publicly disgraced for drug use oh, this thing of like stereotypes and whatnot let's say for oh, example yes. like you represent the other and it's like it's extreme like you're either good or you're bad it's not like a you can't be kind of yeah like when you represent the other it's like yes oh it's like um how it well it's still happening now but like how back then white people would refer to like a man as a boy or a woman a black a black man as like boy or childish mm -hmm. And they would see them in yeah childish, but then they would also see them as, as like a monster. yeah a monster who's yeah. hypersexual and whatever. Yes. <laughs> so then the black man is constantly like in this like they're like stuck in this thing. Of, like, yes. So they're like they're a child, but they're also this aggressive mm -hmm. monster. And, so there's constantly binary systems within represent yeah. <laughs> And then the women were basically just treated as objects um, mm -hmm. because of, they were trapped. So they fetishized them. Yeah, they, yes. they fetishized yeah, them. Yeah, they fetishized them. Fetishized There's a part in the chapter where they speak about Sarah Barton and, yeah. and how Barton taught Venus and how her body parts were fetishized but also this avowal. Oh. That means okay. that you fetishize like you find an interest in mm -hmm. but you're also like rejecting it and yeah you know, so it's like yeah. yeah because it seems so different from mm -hmm. you it's kind of different and it's like almost shunned to look down upon mm -hmm. but you're still like i so think like, just her as well um doctors took her and examined her, examined her yeah. dissected her and basically. yeah so yeah. they like basically put not put her body apart but they like it's in the thing the book. They like reduced it to a body part. Yeah, basically. basically. Mm -hmm. And how it's so different from what they, how they are how as people. How like you yeah, how mm -hmm. the Europeans are and how wow it's so fascinating. This is how Africa is so exotic. Yes. They were drawing diagrams, yes. and explanations mm -hmm. and everything. It was unpacked. Uh, like how we're like an object. Like an object. She was objectified. <laughs> So Stuart also speaks about why does difference difference mm -hmm. why difference matters. <laughs> like it's essential to make meaning of things. Without it, we can't exist. Basically, oh, so it's like yes. it's like human nature to yeah. box people or like to labelize or categorize. Yeah. Because so like yeah. a psychology thing that we learned in psychology that the human mind likes order, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. in order to go about life, we like to categorize categorize things yeah. so we know that it things are okay and not make them. Mm -hmm. um, how stereotypes doesn't mean everyone. Yeah. That stereotypes are kind of So what you're trying to say is that stereotypes, stereotypes happen when you like generalize. Yes, but also but they it's, occur sorry. So, <laughs> it's like it had to happen for people to make that stereotype. But it becomes a yes, stereotype yes. when you like say every yeah. colored person, like, every black person does that or is like that. Mm. There's some examples that speak to blackface and it's oh, yeah. one of the things we reviewed or looked at is the movie Bamboozle. Mm -hmm. And that speaks to like the actual like literal direct blackface the show, so mm -hmm. like, minstrel shows. Minstrel. And it's basically this frustrated African American TV executive, <laughs> shut up, that creates contem the contemporary version of minstrel shows to purposefully get himself fired or expose the, net the network he works for as racist. But then, little did he know the show was going to turn on success. Mm -hmm. The society actually likes the yeah. show and loves it, and it just and even in the audience, we were also shown that um, other African Americans uh, were also in the audience and they were also laughing along and enjoying it yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. But then some African Americans no, weren't yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, they were against it. And that's when violence came into the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other examples include. Um, the Unfoot with Fatty Boom Boom. Oh, yes. Um, where Which is like an example of like blackface that's still happening in today's media. Yeah. The next reading we have that we analyzed was 
how to write about Africa, which is basically like two pages full of like stereotypes. Uh, and I'll read like a section so you guys can relate. And a very over enthusiastic narrator. Well, not narrator, mm -hmm. but so it's the reading is how to write about Africa, so it's telling you how to write about it. Always use the word Africa or darkness or safari in your title. Subtitles may include the words Zanzibar, Maasai, Zulu, Zambezi, Congo, Nile, Big Sky, Shadow, Drum, Sun, or Baigong. 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 Note that people means Africans who are not black, while the people means black Africans. So that's just like a short example. So the other whole reading tells you how to write about Africa and it gives you like really and it's pure stereotypical. Mm. Yeah. So this is also like a form of blackface. Mm. In a way. Because blackface is basically like exaggerating mm. and representing stereotypes in media. Because in movies and media, it's literally Africa is always seen with the Sahari, the animals, the sunrise, the sunsets, mm. and then examples of um, starving children is always African mm. starving children. Where with the flag. With the fly, <laughs> where always all the over in the world there's hungry children and hungry people. Okay, well, yeah, that has been Blackface. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope it helped. Yes, yes. If you feel like you have something to say, any comments, any thoughts, anything you know that you want to add to this discussion, leave it in the comments down below. Can you clip your wrist? I know. <laughs> Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll give you some, some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Well, this we is... We didn't introduce ourselves in the beginning. We did. This is Backspace. This is Backspace. I'm Tasman. I am Nogulunga. I am Danielle. Hi, Danielle. And it has been a pleasure. It's been great talking to you. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, this was very casual. Mm. We want to make it a discussion, not to you know, listen to me, reading, okay, we were basically reading, but it's like a discussion, it's like casual. We want to make you guys feel at ease, everyone to feel at ease because academics will start to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more broken down things that we And speaking words. the language that we can understand as students. So yes. No big words, no fancy stuff. Anyways, thank you for joining us! Bye!